Hello and welcome to the print. We are joined by Mr. Rahul Kaswan, the MP member of parliament from Churu. Welcome to the print, sir. Thank you. So, so for our ex uh, viewers, I'll explain them that Churu Lok Sabha seat has been held by one family since 1999. It was one. One family. 1991. 1991. Yeah. Oh, continuously. Yes. And since then, it was held by your father yeah. until 2014. Yeah. And then you took over yeah. and throughout you were with BJP, yes. both father and yeah. son. Yeah. And now they've decided to switch to Congress. And in fact, just today, Mr. Kharge, the Congress president, inducted him to the party. What's the reason behind the switch? Well, is it just the ticket denial? But there's something else. See, ticket uh, is not the only issue, uh, yeah. and uh, I don't want to focus on that part. It has been a long journey of my father. We started in 1991. Mr. Bal Singh Shekhawat sir got my father to uh, um, uh, to the politics, and he introduced us to uh, BJP. Before that, we used to contest local MLA election from mm -hmm. Sadalpur uh, constituency of Churu district. And uh, we used to contest independently only. From 1977, my grandfather contested first election. Okay. Since then, we were only contesting MLA elections there. And uh, my father, at that time, 91, before 91, we were only a Sarpanch. And uh, uh, Mr. Shekhawat sir got my father to uh, give a ticket of BJP. And that time, first time, BJP got that seat with a margin of 168 votes only. Yeah. So since then the journey started and uh, we have been working in the constituency. My father's USP has always been the connect with the people, his honesty, his hard work, his simplicity, his easy to approach uh, uh, personality he is. And we continued uh, since then and uh, st uh, since then to, till 2014 right. he was the member of parliament and the same, some people at that point of time came into picture and they started uh, uh, they were against my father's uh, ticket and so the party thought to introduce me and since then I became member of parliament mm -hmm. from the last two consecutive terms. There has been an issue with the one person in the, const in the state and he is from my constituency. He has always been, uh, he has an issue, I don't know, some ego issue what he has because politically if I see I never wanted to contest election from the Churu MLA constituency and somebody uh, was uh, MLA from there and neither they wanted to contest the MP election but they had ego issues uh, the, the word which I call the Samantwadi Soch kind of right. stuff so and I never I have been uh, studied in good schools so I don't follow that sort of uh, concept of politics and would you like to name that person no I don't want to name the party president of state Mr. C.P. Joshi should name him Okay. Why shouldn't he name him? So he's aware, party is he, aware. He knows because he, it was his responsibility. If something was going wrong, uh, then uh, he should have been, uh, he should have informed us. He should have uh, uh, tried to negotiate and try to listen to my viewpoint also. Right. Uh, only one person can't be heard in the party. Right. Party is a group of people. Okay. Uh, so they take, they should, they should take decisions. Uh, Conclusion decision should be there. Right. Not only one person can take a uh, decision and dictate the whole terms of the politics of the state. So uh, I was feeling very frustrated, ignored in okay. the party, and uh, the frustration was going day by day. It was in in increasing day by day, and uh, the day has to come. Uh, I never thought of because my, I was working my constituency very hard, and we were uh, focusing on all the important. Uh, flagship programs of the Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi Ji in your constituency. Uh, if you call, if you, for example, if I mention you, one program of Mr. Modi sir was the, about the Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima mm -hmm. Yojana. My constituency is the highest in the state and we are third highest in the country. Some 7200 crore of claims have been dispersed to the farmers. So we were working very good and uh, with the honesty and uh, with the uh, Passion. We were with the people. We were not sitting in Delhi. But, and uh, did you reach out to the party high command before taking? Every this time I, I I have mentioned the uh, newly elected CM also that there are behind issues and uh, before uh, before him, uh, Ma'am Vasundaji was there. I also mentioned she knew everything. Okay. And she was trying to create a balance. Then right. only we could have survived uh, for the last fifteen years. Otherwise. And I mentioned everybody. Could you explain what balance, what do you mean by balance? A balance between these two, between uh, us and uh, him, that uh, the, other person the, the voice should be heard. Right. Where it is the democratic system, uh, voice mm -hmm. has to be heard. So, and how, after, how, how did they respond, the party leadership, when you reach out to them? They were not giving any ear to that, what I was, okay. what uh, I wanted to say, what I wanted to explain. 
so it was hurting i was feeling very suffocated that this is not the way to go about and uh, every now and then the issues are coming up mm-hmm. so so these kind of things that you're not being heard it has been there throughout or it just changed recently it has been since last 15 years last 15 uh, years through 14 somebody sells a key don't give the ticket to the father okay the party denies the ticket okay in 419 somebody says don't give the ticket to him we the party took a bold decision to uh, the central leadership to a bold it's decision it's the same person through yeah same through and uh, what issue he has is all connected with his own right. deeds which you've done right so why it should be we blame to about right. that and that was a, a bigger problem and uh, i was feeling very suffocated my workers were feeling very suffocated mm-hmm. petty things happened was happen- were happening in these uh, district uh, Uh, organization and the state organization people who are very abusive about us about our family they were being giving uh, responsibilities in the state party mm-hmm. uh, uh, system and all we were i asked the president also ki please uh, kindly give issue notices to all these people who are talking okay. rubbish the about the national president or the state no, president see, see i have never been to the national president because okay. uh, the responsibility is with the state president the state team and your complaints were also registered with yeah. the state uh, leadership uh, they or knew it everybody in the rajasthan or in the constituency everybody knows this thing that this man is against our life mm-hmm. and he don't want doesn't want us to be in the party he is uh, against the system of being our existence the, okay where we are existing also okay so that everybody every every child every leader everybody every worker in the party knows this thing in the state mm-hmm. also and in the constituency also so the suffocation was uh, obvious and uh, my people were too much aggressive too much angry too much hurt to they were feeling very bad about all that things happening and nobody speaking were hurting us more right um, mr kaswan but you've said that for the past 15 years you were being troubled by one person and why is it now that you've decided to switch is it just the ticket denial that has led to this decision or there's more to it because people would argue how does the ideology change now all of a sudden see it's not about ideology we see we uh, we work mm-hmm. we are elected for the people we are people's voice right we are in democracy our job as a member of parliament is to work for the constituency do the development work be available be uh, available to people at large mm-hmm. till we are doing that job and party is appreciating it and people are appreciating it things are then manageable okay at times when times come then that uh, that there's no answer for whatsoever uh, decisions you're taking then the person i also tweeted on uh, on the ex also mentioned yeah. this what is my fault right what sin have done what is my wh- wh- where 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 i went wrong at least explain me that okay when that when you don't listen to those uh, when there when there's no answer coming from that then it hurts you and it, when it it hurts you badly then obviously people and no one was ready to give nobody, you that answer i i i called a couple of times every day i used to call the party president of my state okay. that, uh, please answer me please give the real answer what is the problem or were they not able to explain or were, there was simply no response from them they were not uh, at times there were no response and at times they were they knew that they can't speak out the problem because mm-hmm. they uh, they were part of that uh, whole uh, modus operandi which okay. mr that mr that person has created Mr CP Joshi was part of that OGC. they were they were sitting in the core committee they should have spoken that case so let us listen to the other voice also right a person, a person can't uh, he he can't rule everybody na he can't he right. he knew the loopholes and he managed them because mm-hmm. only there was only one voice okay the other voice also has to be heard right and uh, you are considered very close to Mrs Vasundra Raje did you reach out to her and what was no, her response see i i never i never reached to anybody i have never reached in my life okay. i have never asked for any post in the party mm-hmm. I, me being the my family being the sixth term mp we never asked for the, any yeah. ministership or any organizational post this is not in my nature i okay. never go anywhere to ask something right if i deserve then i will do get it if i am not deserving i should know the reason behind it right but did if, you speak to her before take no never i never speak to anybody about all. not even I mean, in my life i've never spoken to anybody okay and you've seen bjp throughout and bjp has evolved how do you think this bjp is different from mr advani mr vajpayee's bjp do you think there's any difference or there's no difference see i don't have that kind of exp- uh, exposure to that sort of bjp my father used mm-hmm. to have but uh, shekhawati used to uh, listen and understand things and used to uh, he was vocal about uh, if something was wrong okay. he used to take a stand on that and same goes with the ma'am uh, but right now uh, within the uh, 
last couple of uh, years or um, uh, since the 2023 general elections of okay. assembly things went totally uh, the, the commission stopped totally and there was nobody wanted to talk and the prabhari minister who uh, and was it just you or with a lot of people communication might be see i know your experience uh, uh, my experience uh, because i know that the way they were they the, uh, the perception went in a very wrong way in the state okay that these are the people who are going to distribute tickets they are going to create the panel okay they are going they can ruin anybody's political career they can make anybody's political career okay. so the mass the perception throughout the state went this way only there were a lot of charges lot of uh, uh, rejections by the people lot of agitations also happened mm -hmm. in the general election in the assembly elections time also so people knew it but uh, nobody was wanted to speak but i i just wanted to know from my party what is my fault and you are saying since 2023 elections as well bjp has yeah. changed there has yeah. been some yeah. change yeah. and it has been towards the negative side you would say see the ticket distribution has been done by the committee mm -hmm. and uh, the the person who is belongs to my constituency who was handling like that he has got the complete charge of the state mm -hmm. no consultations i being the uh, my family being the sixth term mem mm -hmm. member of parliament my father is still active in politics no consultation with us shekhawa ji used to consult when we are when we are distributing uh, when we are giving tickets for the mlas and all right. so there is an envi a, con a conducive environment where everybody has a say of it right so people uh, representatives senior people senior leaders from the district discuss about uh, constituencies mm -hmm. how and whom to give tickets what are the uh, what are the parameters we should look into a lot of stuff goes on but right. this time there's no communication nobody wanted to talk right. they were they had already made up their mind what we are going to do and mr mm -hmm. that person has to take the decision and he is the uh, supreme now and he is the only person with, the whole state was handed over to him right and the guy with a, such a uh, negative mindset and uh, and um, i want to say but you are making very serious allegations why are you not trying to name that person now you are not even in that oh, party the vice party president he should he should say he should name him na ki yes he is the person who i will see i don't want to name him i will name him in the elections 100% people know them i know everybody knows that so you will name him when it comes yes. when the time for campaigning comes yes surely why not and what about the congress party how receptive were they when you reached out to them and you reached out to them or they reached out to you first see there are very few political families in the state mm -hmm. uh, right now and everybody knew in my shekhawati bed this right. this family has been getting uh, uh, the seat for the party since last so many years and me my father mother we are a completely a political family okay we uh, we, we don't do politics beyond our constituencies also we never go to adjoining seats also we okay. are, are only limited and we will you never see us on the national media or the state media we are very much considered and uh, connected towards our people only and that is the way we do right. my father my mother and me everybody moves out of the house every day and we are going to people's uh, and all the happinesses and sadnesses what they are they suffering from so we are part of we are the different kind of politicians we are working the, and everybody in the state might they might be any party they know about our presence what we are mm -hmm. and uh, they have contacted me about after this incident and they knew it right. and uh, what respect which we deserved we have got from them and i'm very happy for that y your parents were happy with your decision yeah it was a it was a decision taken by everybody because your father also yeah. had been in bjp for my father long my time. father knew it very from in 14 itself that uh, it will be very tough for, for us to uh, survive because people if don't listen to us then we mm -hmm. can't survive in this party because this it's not to blame the uh, uh, to central leadership because the state never let them uh, let the real information go through to go through them right it never happened it was only limited towards the they gave a wrong impression wrong picture right they have done very wrong for the party for workers in the party that they have given a very very wrong message mm -hmm. ki how can one person completely control the whole system and and tackle those loopholes in the party and um, they have destroyed a, a, a family's political career of last 33 35 years in the party and and i'll read this one line from x that you had posted a couple of days back जयचंद के बीच कहने वाले जयचंद जयचंद की बात कर, करते हैं वन वॉट डू यू मीन बाई दिस एंड हुम आई यू अटैकिंग हेयर सी 
after the election results they labeled me as a somebody they tried to label me as jaychand it's the same person yes okay and from his um, his 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 people also very were very, very, very vocal about him mm -hmm. you are distributing tickets of the whole constituency not but the, or the reason itself uh, j just to clarify so during the assembly elections while campaigning you were called jaychand no I after the results came after the results came okay after the results came they had a one public meeting and from okay. there or on, on the uh, tv interviews that that man has spoken about this word okay jaychand and uh, to clarify him that he who is jaychand that's why i have mentioned that line mm -hmm. he is the person who is giving tickets to everybody he decides okay. who is going to get ticket in bjp mm -hmm. and he himself changes his seat nobody has asked him he himself thought to change his seat he was okay. usually uh, contest from another seat but he changed his seat this time right third the whole party organization of uh, my constituency is under him okay we used to have 25 people as per the constitution but when he was contesting 56 people were included in that organization okay. of uh, district uh, bjp organization mm -hmm. he never asked me to be part of that election campaign he never talked to me he never spoke to me about that uh, ki uh, i am contesting from so and so seats and all and uh, then the day he files his nomination that morning he calls me the today i am filing a nomination and doing as a formality and i asked him on that day also do you want to really call me or just informing me mm -hmm. so but then also i because i have committed towards another uh, mlis ko nomination meeting so i reached there late and after that particular day he never called me in his okay. constituency he loses and then he thinks that he the other person is uh, to be blamed how right. how it is possible you are yourself becoming so superior supreme that every decision you are taking and you are blaming others mm -hmm. and what happened was what has happened people know historically how many leaders career has been ruined by this chap how many careers how many strong big tall leaders of polit uh, of my true district has been careers have been ruled by this person so and the person who has uh, won from my uh, hometown he is always seen with him okay. the whole team is seen with him so you are sitting with jaychands and talking about jaychands mm -hmm. now you you are not naming that person but the word around is that this person might be mr rajendra rathol would you like to say anything about it yeah 100% he might be and he knows that he might be that person yeah he might be you know why, why? how can person? how can he name me how can he name me and uh, there are a lot of uh, every seat he 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 gave in the constituency he gave only to win his own constituency okay nobody even simply argued his own people yeah okay. not they are not his people he okay. uses people and throw them okay is it that is his modus operandi always okay tall leaders like mr harishankar bhabda mm. who who ruined his career right so there are a lot of people mr rajkumar renua who ruined his career what happened and uh, they play dirty politics of casteism mm -hmm. uh, and uh, blame others that doesn't work so you are you're making very serious allegation mr rathore and you stand by them by these allegations these these are the realities of of, of realities of the constituency everybody knows if you randomly and go and ask any pan wala in churu or any shop owner any ready wala any auto rickshaw wala okay. you go and ask him they will tell you his history okay. what constructive and what uh, what kind of a um, political mindset he has Mr. everybody Rajiv knows yeah, everybody knows that it's not only me okay. i am the only taken up on my stand that no I, i won't accept this right whatever you are doing right so now now you've decided to join the congress party is yeah. there any assurance about the ticket from their side See, right now ticket is not my okay. thing and i have not uh, i'm not joined the party on the terms of getting a ticket and, and all it's this thing that i have been hurt i have been denied the uh, my voice has not been heard in my party okay giving given 33 years of our life to the party without being opportunist without being asking for a single post in the party no corruption charges on my family till date mm -hmm. our simplicity our honesty as we have been our usp yeah. and that thing has hurt me a lot no answers from my state leadership i am feeling very hurt and that's why i have left and i've decided to join the family of congress but but uh, in case you are fielded are you confident of your win still because a lot of people say that when it comes to states like rajasthan gujarat up there's something called modi factor are you still confident of your See, win if you fight on so the parties are 
the the way to win but the people at the end of the day win and lose right the people cast their votes okay and people's voice is against me so that person it is is with me because of my work and i'm i'm so happy for that that whatever whenever i have got these in last 6 days the messages the phone calls what i have got from the people what i have heard that this boy was working hard he got us so many trains he do he was doing such good for highway sector for the bimas and all so i feel some way people do appreciate development your hard work your honesty they appreciate you connect with the people they appreciate that and that gives me a lot of satisfaction who wins who loses it's all destiny you can't decide right now but for in this election churu is going to vote for the the, the churu's voice is going to be something different because of the because of the, the way this person has been accepted in the so in the party and the the way the brute power has been given to this okay. man and he has he's destroyed a lot of people's career people are going to give him a strong answer right so you are still very young for politics and i think you have a long way ahead what's your vision going forward as a politician for churu what's your vision going ahead see we we are a developing nation mm -hmm. and the honorable prime minister also mentioned that we have to be a vixit bharat by 2047 so my job as a parliamentarian should be to see that the development reaches uh, to the my constituency if the budget for the for the infrastructural project is of more than 11 lakh crore rupees then how much of that chunk can i get from my constituency should be my topmost priority and i have always been working on those lines and b any flagship program which comes to the which is announced by the government of india our job should be that 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 uh, that uh, proper the scheme should be Uh, implement and executed in the best possible way okay. in my constituency right. so i work on those lines so the people we should give them basic basic uh, infrastructure mm -hmm. uh, of good schools good colleges uh, uh, good road and rail connectivity so people can enhance their capacity capabilities which ever they are holding right. and they can uh, their life can improve and they can move forward in their lives and i think if i am not wrong you have a very good attendance as well in the parliament i was looking at it it was more than 95% if i am not wrong see i have spent my life uh, as a parliamentarian when i'm in uh, delhi i always attend a parliament mm -hmm. my one leg will be in, in any of the ministries right. maybe the railways maybe the because getting one project and executing the, it is a different ball game all together okay so like i can give you an example when i was you know one you know in the first time i got an opportunity that uh, the the scheme khelo india was launched mm -hmm. so we knew it that uh, uh, there is a good program and where government was about to construct infrastructure projects for the sports infrastructure in each and every constituency so rajasthan was uh, about to get one world class synthetic track of athletics so sent the state government have uh, given name of alwar and gangnagar right churu was nowhere there but okay. my pursuance and i got the, i managed the uh, i came to know that there is a um, one track is lying idle let us focus on that i took it as a challenge and we i went to the jaipur i sat in front of the secretary for 5 hours he was in a meeting i sat in his office i got that letter came back into delhi gave the letter to the concerned secretary joint secretary uh, at that particular time and at the night of 31st of march 2016 mm -hmm. the track was awarded to my churu constituency right. then working for that track we have to see who is the best contractor possible we wanted it to be class 1 track because okay. churu has a temperature of it touches 50 degrees yeah, right. and uh, it goes to it touches minus in the One winters of the hottest yeah this is even in rajasthan so we Uh, we worked for that, and uh, by God's grace, I was so happy to say it. It became it came out of one of the world class best for first class synthetic track in the con in this uh, in this right. country right now. And to my shock, India has only five. Okay. One is in Delhi, one is in Gwalior, one is in Calcutta, uh, and one is in uh, Hisar, and one is in Churu. Now it's in Churu. Okay. So, and it is being it is on the website of Olympic Association also. Okay. People from France came to. Uh, inspector uh, inspected that uh, right. the whole track and all so things like give us happiness this is a constructive politics mm -hmm. development based politics i did and people have accepted and praised me a lot right. and that's why my victory margin was increased from for 19 14 to 19 by it's more than 30 40000 votes so you won by over 30 40 i, I won with a margin of 300 lakh 34000 oh, okay and first time was 2 lakh 90000 oh wow so my last question would be 
you your father both have been in bjp for a long time do you think there will be any resentment from the congress to let you in once you go back to churu see uh, again i will say that uh, our politics was not that we were never okay. into aggressive politics okay. we were never uh, we were never for the hatred and all we have very cordial relationship with each and everybody okay nobody can say anything bad about my father his simplicity his easy to be easy to approach uh, personality was always accepted so i don't think that uh, that things can ever going to happen mm -hmm. because my father doesn't have doesn't carry that baggage of samantwa then all right. so he is very easy to approach person and people will always appreciate his simplicity and we will be accepted i think in a very proper way all right thank you so much thank mr kaswan for thank joining you. in and answering so extensively all the questions uh, thank you so much for joining in do tune in for more such interviews from the print